Hey gang, Jake the Jeweler here for Ocean's Edge School of Worship. Today's blog post is going to be covering a topic of how to make a stutter edit using a volume envelope. So let's jump right in and make a beat. Let's pick a tempo. I'm feeling sort of like dance track action. There it is. Turn on the metronome. powerful tool about Ableton Live is while it's actually playing, you can make edits to the arrangement, you can change MIDI note placements, you can quantize, which is uh, shifting the notes to a more specific timing. Like for instance, we'll shift my playing to 16 notes. My first step is I click inside the box right there where my mouse is, and then I hit Command A to select all notes, because in this case, I want to quantize them all to 16 notes at 100%. Let's take a listen to that. Nice. On this track over here next to it, track one, I have a different drum kit loaded. So let's just play it and see what we get. All right, cool. We'll just mess around with that. I'm going to go ahead and stop it. And when I hit record, I have it set in the settings to actually give me a four bar count in. So just so you know, when you see that I'm hitting record and it counts off before it starts recording. Nice, I like that. I feel like we're. Uh, I feel like I'm about to hear Janet Jackson just start ripping over like some vocal lead line over this in a second. Okay, cool. So let's start it together. These are the two tracks without the metronome. Cool. So we could even turn down that like dance club kick a little bit. So it gives a little fun. Okay, now we need to find some kind of synth line. This is where we're going to get into the lesson about um, how to do a stutter edit. I'm going to use a plugin called Operator that is available as an add-on to Ableton Live. It's made from them. Let's see here. Lead flooring two. Let's see what this happens. And now we got to arm the track so we can hear it. This is yeah. This is so simple, guys. Here we go. So I'm just going to record those two notes. Four, three, two, one. Just like that. And let's quantize that to 16 notes. And I'll set the loop point to four bars. Okay, so here we've got the basic drum sounds. We've got the basic synth sound. Here's where we really make it come alive, going to that synth track and messing with the volume envelope. When I double click it, you'll see down here it brings up all of the editable parameters for that clip right here and actually I like this little window open for newbies like people just learning Ableton Live it's called the show hide button and most things you hover your mouse over it'll give you an explanation show hide launch box okay that's cool right here you've got the show hide notes box that would that would bring up this whole section with the notes and then right here the E is show hide envelope box that's where we're going to be working now inside the envelope box you can move your mouse over to the top middle and like you can zoom and focus in other areas of live you would click and hold up or down to zoom in and out, and left and right if you're zoomed in to scroll inside of that function. So once you hit the envelope button, then over here where it says envelopes, you'll notice you've got pitch bin, volume, pan. Well, I'm going to click volume, and you'll see how everything turns red. Basically, let me grab my pencil tool and show you something kind of neat here. I'll create like this little ramp where it's you see mostly yellow as it turns red. And now notice what you hear as you see what I just did. That's an example of a volume envelope that we just affect the attack right there, how long it takes before we hear the sound. But we're going to go for something a little more edgy since this is sort of like a dance, dance style track. Uh, something really cool about live is this command 4 function will allow you to turn the grid mode off where you see the dash marks there where my mouse is. Or command 4, turn the grid on. With the grid on, everything you do will be hard edited to whatever timing you have in your global, in your global settings right here. Whatever your resolution is right here, we have it set at one bar. Okay, so, pretty boring. I want to go, I'm feeling like that, 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 something like that. So let's mess with it and see what we get. 
That's a little too soon. And everything is to the grid. There we go. Getting a little feel. There we go. See what's happening? Light bulbs are going off right now. See, that's too soon. See, okay. That's too late. And something I want to let you all know is you can actually add, I'll get to the section where I show you, but you can actually change the resolution of how firm, or excuse me, what the resolution of the grid is, and as, as in like whole notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, 16, 32nd, anything like that. So imagine I could do, basically what's happening here is where you see the red, it's full volume, and where you see the yellow is when the volume is taken completely out. The reason it has such an aggressive drop that makes it sound percussive is because it's to the grid. Okay, I'm starting to like that. Keep rolling here. Okay, cool. That sounds nice to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually copy paste that envelope. I'm going to duplicate that envelope. So what I just did is instead of having to cut all those little slices again the next time around, it should play them in time. Let's find out. Let's see, all right, that's sick. And then on this second part around, let's add a little bit more just to give it something else. And let's uh, let's tighten up the resolution. Let me actually change my settings. Okay, I'll turn my pencil tool back on. You can hit Command B to do that, or you can go up here to this global section and right here, that little tool is your pencil tool on and off. Okay, that's pretty tight resolution. Let's see here now. Let's listen. See how it gives you that little, little something else right there? And we could even have that become softer as it goes out, so it's less pronounced. Alright, let's get up in here. Sometimes it takes a little experimentation to find what the good stuff is. I kind of like doing this. Getting it changing up to a little bit more. So now, with just using the volume envelope here, I'll turn it up a little bit more. So basically you got yourself kind of a good groove. It's like percussive, the melody part, and it just has a nice bite. So that's I really like using the volume envelopes with the grid, but basically just to recap, you want to tr engage the envelope to the track, you want to choose volume, and then basically with the grid mode on, at whatever resolution you choose, just drop the volumes out. It takes a little experimentation to find the groove, but I think it's a, I think it's a pretty tight tool. Hope you guys enjoyed this lesson.